Okay, this is Carol Springer at Gabriel Sales. This is a super quick video just to demonstrate um, some instructions. So if you have someone on your team in the Pardot Lightning app and they don't see all these tabs, so again, the, these will show you how to get to items in Pardot. Um, so if you've been in Pardot Classic, um, some of these will mimic what you're used to seeing on your blue nav bar in Pardot Classic. But the new Pardot Lightning app is where it, Everything is happening. And so once you get it installed, sometimes what happens, you'll just see Pardot dashboard and reports. That's it. Or you just see prospects and reports. Like everything isn't on here. And you can choose what you want. If you don't want some people to have access to um, Pardot email sending, then you don't give them access to that tab. And so how you fix this, if it's not showing up here, one, uh, first make sure the person is has permission to the Pardot Lightning app, okay? So again, everything in these waffles are different apps. So Pardot has its own Pardot Lightning app, okay? And just to be clear, the Pardot Lightning app always has B2B marketing automation in it. I actually put dash Pardot Lightning to make it super clear. And out of the box, this says Pardot, and this says Pardot, but with B2B. So um, you can ask your admin to do that for you. This is not Pardot Lightning. If it doesn't say B2B MA, it is not part of Lightning. Okay. So if you do have access to that and you are in the right um, app and you do not have these, what you do as an admin or ask your admin, you go to users and you go to the profiles. So for example, I was looking, hey, the standard user doesn't have it. Um, these are all permissioned correctly, but just want to show you how to get there. So standard user and there's all this field level security. So if you can't find other things sometimes, this may be where you want to go. Custom apps. Um, and then it's the tab settings, okay? And so all the Pardot stuff's not hanging out together, but you have Pardot reports. See, default on. Sometimes it'll say tab hidden, okay? So that's what you need to edit it from tab hidden to on. And you just hit edit of the profile and you can change it. Let me just show you how that works. Do, 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 do. Edit. Scroll back down. In the right area, standard tab settings. So some of those you have to might look back and forth. One was called content. Um, let's keep going. I lost my tab section. Content default on. And if you go, one was called Pardot email. And so for some of the Pardot stuff is together. Pardot campaigns, Pardot dashboard, Pardot email, Pardot reports, Pardot setting. So those are all together. Um, and then let's see what else we got here. Um, content, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Campaigns, these are Salesforce campaigns. So if they're not showing up, um, that'd be unusual. So I think, yeah, prospects and campaigns are always in Salesforce. Um, so Pardot dashboard might not be in there. Oops, wrong direction. Um, Pardot dashboard, okay. So you just click those to on, hit save, and you should be good to go. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.